Yes, Senator Spooner, continue and uh, finish up. Uh, Honorable Chair, that. in fact, that practice is something that you must not allow. There is no way a cabinet secretary can send a letter to you seated in the chair this morning. I am very shocked because you see on the Bochea, we woke up very early in the morning to come and attend this session. The question that I was supposed to put to CS Mbadi is a question that is over a year old. It has taken him less than two weeks to become a proper Kenya Kwanzaa cabinet secretary who has no respect for this house. On the Bochea, we cannot allow this because we want to engage with these CSs. He cannot tell us, and uh, I, I have heard in this house before, uh, people saying that when Kibaki was president, if there was a matter before parliament and another one before state house, the president was that you come and attend to the matters in the house first. I want to tell John Badi that this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable, totally unacceptable when he has to show respect for this house. And in fact, it is worse that he was a member of parliament. If he had just been plucked from the wilderness like some of the other people I see, maybe we would excuse him. But he is a member of parliament. He has, uh, he has even finished two weeks. Honorable Chair, this is unacceptable. Respect for this house, and as of yesterday, there was already communication that he had confirmed he was going to come. When these state house meetings just spring up on people like it is a surprise party. Honorable Chair, this is unacceptable. At the very minimum, he should have written yesterday and said he was not going to be able to make it. We have also other business to attend. Honorable John Mbadi must be called to order. This is not the John Mbadi I, I knew. I don't know what they have done to him. He used to respect parliament. Sorry, sorry. Actually, I thought the, our visitors are not allowed when uh, I want to give our guests uh, just ten minutes. Then I, we can do house, housekeeping. I have directed that uh, our visitors here, the, the CS Bolivar and Social Protection and his team to give this house 15 minutes to interact with this communication. Yes, Majority Linda. I, I keep telling my friend uh, Sifuna that if he wants to become a good legislator, he must not conflate issues. The point that he's raising is something that all of us on this side agree with. I have been on this floor severally, coming down heavily against cabinet ministers when they fail to appear before this house. But when he wants to leave it on record and say that uh, John Buddy has become a proper Kenya Kwanzaa minister who has no respect for parliament. I cannot allow him to do that, Mr. Speaker, because he's disparaging a, a cabinet, Mr. Speaker, and their ministers. While he's saying that there's a cabinet minister seated here waiting to respond to questions, Mr. Speaker, is it in order, Mr. Speaker, for Senator Edwin Sifuna to claim that a proper Kenya Kwanzaa minister has no regard for parliament? Can he table any fact, Mr. Speaker, to to, 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 uh, to support his allegations, Mr. Speaker. Because otherwise, you reduce a very valid point to a partisan debate that is useless. We had a very valid conversation that we would have had about the presence or otherwise of ministers. But now he wants to distract us with side shows, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Senators, uh, let us not be emotional on this matter. Actually, this is a matter concerning the whole House. This is a bipartisan issue. So, Senator Sifuna, maybe you can kill your record so that uh, we, can, we, we can be able to move uh, nicely, Honorable Senator Sifuna. I've asked him to, to clarify that.